Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using nanotechnology gain. I want you to look around at my environment. Usually, this is what some people have to deal with if you own a projector. Usually, it's a dark environment or you have to use some form of uh, ambient lit controlled environment making your living room look like a medieval dungeon. Now, if you have a dedicated home theater, you know, that's fine. You can have it in the dark. You can have the lights on. It's up to you. But usually, most people have projection screens in their homes and in their living rooms. And just to let you know that if I had my, if my wife had to be subjected to this environment every time we used our projector, I would not have a screen here. I would have a TV. All right. So first things first, let's take our projector off blank mode. You know what? Yeah, let's take it off blank mode. I wasn't going another way with it, but let's do it this way instead. So, projectors off blank mode. And we are going to do a demonstration. I love how people are still texting me. <laughs> but let's do a demonstration on some flowers. All right, now there's no sound to this. Just want to add, but this is how some people view uh, their, uh, their home theater set up. Now, of course, they don't have our black screen technology, no. Because the screen is jet black. It can produce amazing colors, amazing white levels. But this is the environment that they have to be subjected to. And notice you can't make out anything in the environment. You make out little shadows and things here and there. But I look at the background of that wall. Now, I want you to look at our demonstration and compare it to what you see out there on the internet on people doing demonstrations on projection screens. Look how dark the environment is. And yet, sometimes they'll go, hey look, I have light coming up down the stairs and it's entering the room making the screen ambient light rejection. This is not an ambient light rejection screen. So, I'm going to take it back and I'm going to show you how we do it. Alright, so we'll put our projector in blank mode. All right, those are my lights activating. Uh, we'll hit the overhead lights. Ooh, see how bright it just got in here? This is how bright it is in here with just the overhead lights on. These LED lights produce a ton of light. Look how bright it is in here, just from the overhead lights alone. All right, so we hit the lights behind the back of the screen. Turn those on real quick. All right, even brighter. Um, let's go turn on the condensed lighting. So now we've got the condensed lighting on. Look how much brighter it is now. And this, this, this light has nothing to do with the screen, but you know, might as well. All right, there we go. It's nice and bright in here, huh? Let's go over to the projector right now. And let's start the Oh, wait, 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 I forgot. Sorry about that. Let's open up some light and bring some light to the blinds. There we go. Now. Let you look at my environment right now. All right, now let's go over. Let's take the projector off blank mode. All right, and let's begin. Okay, make sure that all my lights going on. Nice and bright in here, huh? There we go. Let me just show you how bright it is in here. All right, look at that. Look how bright all the lights are in. The screen's black. Now this is what our screens do in a fully lit environment. Now like I said, there's no sound to this video. Now if I decided to come over here and just take out my ambient light right here, and mind, mind how bright this room is with these lights on just alone. Still got the window open. That shows you how much light this room takes in. The room takes in a ton of light. The overhead lights generate a lot of light in the environment. The condensed lighting generates a lot of light. Over here, got the window open right next to the screen, and it looks incredible. 
Now that's the difference between our technology and what's out there on the market. We don't have to have our screen in the dark in order to show you the high points and the best of the ability of what the screen can do. We can do this in a fully lit environment. Alright, so I'm going to come over here and grab this demonstration right here. Okay, before my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Screens using Nanotechnology Gain, showing you what a true ambient light rejection screen should react and should look like. And keep in mind, like I said, in our demonstrations, if we choose to turn the lights out, we can. But our high points of our technology is the fact that you don't have to be subjected to a dark environment just because of your projector. And my projector over here sits back around 14 feet, eight inches from the screen. And this is the picture I pick up in a fully lit environment. All the lights on the environment, window open right next to the screen. And that's how our technology works. That's how beautiful it works. Now if I choose to shut my window, take out my condensed lighting, Still gonna look incredible. Well, of course, it's gonna look incredible. You know, the lights on. I don't think a lot of people realize how bright the, uh, the, the LED lights that we have attached to the ceiling really are. They are quite bright. Those things are turned all the way up. Those things will wash anything out. If you have any kind of screen on here that doesn't have our technology, it will wash out against these lights. These lights are extremely bright. And keep in mind, with the screen being white, with the background being white, I mean, the only color walls we have are these walls right here, but they're actually a very bright um, color. We don't have any dark colors in the environment. Uh, like I said, people lean toward these dark colors because dark colors will cancel out, um, uh, cancel out a lot of the uh, light in the environment. It won't generate light where white screens will generate, white screens or white walls will generate 10 times more light. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration again. Thank you all for your time. Kenneth Burr from Crystal Wave Technology Streams using nanotechnology gain. God bless.